Hi, I'm Wes, and we've got another Noria unboxing for you. So let's get to it. All right, so today from Chevron, we have the Cool Tools Kit. And this is often what I usually tell people is kind of the forgotten fluid analysis. Here at Norio, we preach the lubricant analysis. We think of oil analysis. We think about grease analysis. But a fluid that is very critical and often overlooked is coolant. And that's what the, the folks here at Chevron have put together a nice kit to test coolant. You know, is your coolant still healthy? Is it still functioning the way that it should? What are some of the tests that we can do in the field to make sure that's still working? Now, I remember, you know, growing up, uh, my dad and my grandpa, you know, we would do engine maintenance. And for us, coolant analysis was simply a little uh, suction tube with the floating balls in it to see if your antifreeze was going to freeze at 32 degrees or if it was going to be below zero, which mattered to us in Kansas. Well, Chevron has taken this a lot further. So, I mean, yes, the freeze point is one of those critical components, but there's a lot more in your antifreeze or in your coolant that you want to uh, to take a look at. So let's go through this and, and see exactly what they have. So I guess we'll we'll start from, from one direction to the other. So first and foremost, they have provided plenty of literature to explain every test and kind of step-by-step -step breakdown of what the test is, how you're to perform it, how to interpret the results, which makes it very easy because on the surface, some of these tests are fairly simple and straightforward, but you may not actually understand how they, they work. Also, we've got some uh, concentration mixture tables here. So if it's over-concentrated, under-concentrated, you know, how much water do we add, everything else. But uh, one of the first tests here, pH strips. So pH, we think about the, uh, the scale. And most coolants, you know, are on the, the alkaline scale, right? So the, the pH is going to be slightly higher. So this just makes sure that the pH is still within an acceptable range, that we're not starting to see a, a lot of acids form or anything else. And then we've got, uh, let's see here, carboxylate and nitrite strips. So um, you can think about these as, as additives inside the coolant that are there to help, uh, you know, reduce corrosion and uh, ensure that we're going to have a long-lasting coolant system. So with the uh, nitrite test strips, some coolants are nitrite-free. So the nitrite strips will indicate, you know, if you see nitrites inside the coolant, you've got cross-contamination with another type of coolant. So, you know, it's a good kind of go-no-go test. Carboxylate, you know, very much uh, kind of a remaining useful life additive of what's going on inside the coolant. The little test uh, materials here, so pipettes. So now we can get the, uh, the coolant out of the, the reservoir, out of the, uh, the engine. Uh, beakers, so if we're mixing, you know, trying to uh, figure out what is the proper concentration if we're having to add water to the system, help us reconstruct that. Uh, the refractometer. So this, of course, replaces the little floating ball thing that I talked about. Very simple test. We're going to take the, the pipette, a couple drops of the, the antifreeze or the coolant over top of this, flip it down. We look at it through a light. Inside of here, there's actually a, a gradient or a scale. So you'll be able to test, you know, the freeze point to see exactly the, the concentration that we have in there. And then finally, we have, you know, the, uh, the dilution test kit. So this is, is a little bit more of our wet chemistry. So we're going to take our sample. We're going to put it into our little test tube. And these test tubes, pretty, pretty neat. In fact, they remind me a lot of uh, water testing in the field. So there's little ampules inside of here. So we, once we apply the test in here, we'll break the ampules. So those are the reagents. Starts to form the, the chemical reaction. And then we're going to, to let it sit. And, of course, instructions that tell us. And we're going to notice a color change. So it gives us an indication if we're needing to remix, if basically if the coolant's at the end of its life or, or not. So a very pretty concise little kit here. So I enjoy it. Hopefully you guys could uh, see some benefit from this. Of course, if you're taking care of fleets, if you've got you know, maybe mining equipment, a lot of big engines, don't forget about the coolant analysis. And definitely take a look at uh, Chevron's Cool Tools kit.